it's Jenny and Nancy. We are going to do a really cool live with you today. I know last week Nancy did some neat stuff with you guys. Here's some of the nails that she did last week. In case you missed it, you can always go back and check our Facebook, our Instagram, and Nancy's YouTube. And we do post all that stuff on there just so that you guys will have something to reference back to in case maybe you missed it or you're still working. I know that some of us work a little later, especially during this time of the year. We're getting into the holidays now, and it's going to be even crazier. Halloween's coming up, so I'm super excited about that. Next week, I think we're going to do some Halloween-themed stuff, so stay tuned for that. Today, we're going to do a continuation of some of the flame sheets that Nancy did, and then we're also going to show you our lip hollow sheet so you guys can see this is really cool we got some drips here and then we have lips that are like dripping too it's really really cute and i have two different colors here i have our black um we have different uh display nails for you guys we have a variety of like black um the typical like white color that most of the sticks are and then a clear as well so this is our black one and I took one of our white ones and I've painted our CND shellac color rock royalty on this nail so we'll have two different colors for you I just wanted to do like two kind of darkish colors that way we could play a little bit of contrast off of the geometric here because there's a lot of colors in this and I don't want to take away from that so I didn't want to do anything too light and then I think that the black is going to have a good contrast for this super holographic drip lip. So hopefully you guys are excited about that. We're going to go ahead and get started in a few seconds, but I just want to let you guys know that I did apply our I Hold Gel Matte Top Coat to both of these nails because in my opinion, I think that our hollow sheets and our flame sheets stick a little better to the matte surface because what you're going to want to do is you want to use your body heat from your finger to apply the sticker onto the nail. So we're going to use some tweezers. We're going to rock the sheet a little bit to get it off of the, the sheet and then we'll apply it using our finger because really that's going to give you the best kind of like surface area. Um, I'm assuming you can probably use a silicone tool for this as well, but I think that your finger probably works better. Yes, Tracy, you can order this. This is on our website already. And don't forget, um, when you're checking out to use the code Jenny W, you're going to get 10% off of that order, okay? So I think we'll get started with our flame sheet first. And like I said, if you just gently kind of rock this back and forth, you're gonna be able to pull the edges up and that way that you're not really like peeling the edge. You don't wanna rip your sticker and you don't wanna have the backing stuck on the sheet. So you're gonna see that that actually is gonna lift up really easy for me because I did that. See, no ripping at all whatsoever. Just be careful when you're doing this, okay guys? And then now that I've got this on there, I'm going to flip this around to where I can use it. There we go. And I'm going to lay this on the nail so that it will actually stick. It's kind of like this right here is um, static and that's why it's sticking the way that it is. And that's okay as long as it's going to match up with the top because we want the top edge to kind of like, there we go. Now that I've got that on there perfect, I'm gonna use my finger, and that way I can get this to go on the nail without having any bubbles, okay? And it really is that easy, guys. They're like, Nancy just showed these to me this morning. This is my first time putting it on the nail to show you, so you can see there's not any tricks or anything to this. Um, the matte top coat actually really helps grip the adhesive and when you're using your finger to kind of rub it You're going to activate the adhesive a little bit because you're going to heat it up And it's going to stick even better So now that I've got that on there nice and stuck I want to put some stuff around the top of it I might use a few crystals on this and then that's just going to allow me to kind of enhance my flame design we don't want to take away from it, so I'm probably just going to line the top a little bit with some of my SS3 and then we'll call it good. So 
You can do this with your gel polish. You do not have to apply this with acrylic and powder. You can do this with just your gel product. But I'm gonna go ahead and add crystals. So my first step is gonna be my Glitz Glue Gel in the 15G pot, okay guys? Because I have my matte top coat on there, it's gonna adhere really well. I don't have to worry about putting a base coat or anything like that on top of it. And then let me get my twin tip brush, which is over here. I know it is because I used it a minute ago. So I have my twin tip brush here, guys. It does have a flat gel end, but in case you guys didn't know, I have a beautiful Here's liner in here. Nice it's great for doing nail art. Um, the video before last week that we did, I did use it so that I could show you guys how to apply our neon pigments. And you can see me using that end to paint all this design on here, our little moon, our palm tree, our really pretty filigree. I don't know if you guys saw this video. If not, you can always go back and check it. And then like I said, I'm gonna get a little bit of this on my brush here. You can see it's really thick and condensed and kind of stringy, but I know where I wanna put it. I'm gonna put all of my crystals right here at the top. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more concentrated there and then I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth this down over the rest of the nail. And that way when I put my top coat on the top, it has something a little bit to grip to as well. It's perfect. Okay, so now that I've done that, any excess, I'm actually going to wipe off into the pot. And then after that, I'm gonna use a little paper towel. I'm gonna wipe off extra, just to make sure that none of my brush is sticking to the side of the lid. Because once you get that glue gel inside of your lid here, the sides of this brush are gonna stick to it and it's gonna fray out and you're gonna ruin your brush. So just be really careful about that, okay guys? Recap everything as well as you're going because that's going to keep any cross contamination, any dust, everything out of this jar, which you don't want to have anything in there except your glue gel. And then I'm going to put my no wipe top coat right on the top of there. And with the black, maybe we'll try a little bit of a matte so that we can see what that looks like on there, okay? Are you doing a matte top one? Um, on the next one. Oh. So in this one, we're gonna do glossy. And just float this right on the top of your product, guys. You don't have to press super hard. It is just gonna flow right over the top of that glue gel. And you guys will get a really nice, beautiful, even coat. And you won't have to re-top coat that at all. Beautiful. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and get my SS3 out, and then I'm going to put my crystals all along the top end of that, just to kind of give it a little bit of a frame here. Yeah, I was gonna say, I can use this, but I'll get it. We have some, Nancy's gonna get that for me. You guys, this is really pretty too. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to do this one. Nancy just added this today, I think, so you guys will have something to look at. Um, it is on there under hollow lip sheet. So if you guys just search for lip collection, you're gonna find that. Use lip collection in the search bar and you'll find all these in there. They're not numbered yet, but we'll have that up soon, so don't worry about that. Yeah, look. Yeah. This is one of the nails with the black, and this is, I think this is the pink or the yellow color, which has like a green reflection, so when you put it on top of a dark color, that's what it ends up looking like. And then this is the, I think this may be actually the pink one, because it has a little bit of a blue sheen mm -hmm. to it. It's really pretty. As you can see, we also have some letters. Those aren't up on the website yet, but we should have that up there either tomorrow or by the end of the week, okay guys? The numbers? Oh, the letters? Yeah, the letters. So I'm just gonna put my SS3 right at the top here, just to kind of frame it a little bit, give it a little bit of glitz. 
because I mean who doesn't want a little bit of sparkle on their nail you know I do I, ha I had to before today because of the fact that my nails were naked basically when I went on vacation So as you can see, I'm placing them all first and then I'm moving them around with my daughter end of my wax picker. And that's just so that I don't get any contamination on the wax picking end of this. And if you watch more of our videos where we do more crystal work, you're gonna see that. Um, I typically tell you to do that pretty much every video because you wanna keep the wax picking end of your wax picker nice and clean so that it will actually pick up your crystals every single time and there will never be an issue with that. You can always wipe whatever's on there off or shave it a little bit if you need to. Um, but generally, it'll stick every single time for you. So cute. I really like that. I kind of want to put one right at the very tip because I really like when you do that. And you get like a good bling from the end of your finger like when you're moving your hands while you talk and then I'm going to swipe down the sides very gently because I just want to make sure that the shape of my nail is maintained and that I'm not um, having like bumpy lumpy sides right there we go all right and because my SS3 is so tiny I really don't have to go back in with my precision pen and that's the beauty of doing this the way that we just did it when you're doing your bigger crystals, you always wanna use your precision pen because you wanna make sure that there's no little edges or areas where your crystal might be sticking up too high. But if you look at this from the side, you can see that the edges of these crystals are actually encapsulated really well. And adding any more than this is gonna make it have a little bit of a lumpy, bumpy surface, and we don't want that. This looks fantastic, Nancy. I like the geometric with like the dark background is really pretty. If you guys have anything that you want to see specifically, let us know so that we can do that for you guys. If you have any questions or you have any kind of like ideas for our next video or anything like that, you have like some things you want to see for Halloween or the seasons that we're in, definitely let us know in chat so that we can show you all our cool stuff. Oh, oops, sorry guys. <laughs> I was trying to wave to Deja. Hey, Deja, how are you, sweetie? So good to see you. Hi, mom. My mom's watching. Hey, <laughs> hey Brad. My cousin Jake says hi. Hey. How is it going, guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. We're about to have a good weekend. Okay, so just in case you guys are curious, these are some of the other design sheets that we have for our flames, which I just showed you. Um, this is one I think Nancy did last week. We've got some really cool like Northern Lights looking stuff, some tie dye, and then this is the sheet that I just used, number 35. This is our geometric flame. So you guys can find all the numbers on the website if you're looking for something specific you'll be able to search for that number or flame sheet and then with the lips like i said they're not numbered yet but we are going to give them some numbers so stay tuned all you got to do is search lip sheet lip hollow sheet or just search lips in the search bar lip collection and all that's going to show up and then when you're checking out if you use the code Jenny W, then you will get 10% off of your entire order. And that's pretty awesome. All right, so this is finally finished. This is what the product looks like when it's completely done. You can see that there's nothing here that's raised up. I don't have to worry about this catching or coming off. So that's really awesome. It's completely encapsulated underneath there. And I rubbed my oils all over it, but that's because I'm just trying to show you guys that there absolutely is nothing sticking up here and then it's completely flat and encapsulated. Okay, and then we'll put it on a little plate for you guys and wipe it off with a little alcohol so that you don't see all my oils on there. <laughs> and we'll get started on the next one, okay guys? So like I said, we're gonna do the flame hollow, I'm sorry, dripping hollow lips, they're not flames getting confused 
And then if you just gently roll this, it should pop up without you having to like worry about anything sticking or like not coming off of the sheet. Okay, you don't wanna rip this at all. You should, there we go. I'm trying to get this with, like I said, without ripping it from the back. So just gently roll it. Thank you, Nancy. There we go, now I've got a little edge up. So I should be able to just grab this right at the edge. Got it. And I'm going to, I'm gonna press right on the center of this so that that center piece will pop out, there we go. Just want to be very gentle with this. You don't, it's not tricky. It's just I'm trying to make sure that everything doesn't get ripped or anything like that. So I'm just being really gentle. There we go. Perfect, okay. So I'm gonna put this about right in the center. Okay. Yeah, and I don't want it to like be off center, so I'm gonna move it around just a and little bit. And you can bit. do the dripping. At the top, top of it, mm -hmm. yeah. And you can move it down, so it's totally fine. It looks great, either way. It works really easy. Like it just, it sticks right to the nail like perfectly, especially with it being a matte top. And then if you wanna get all these little drippies, like I said, just roll it and you're gonna be able to get those little drips off. I can use, you can use a Zetto knife to cut the pieces of it if you yeah. want to. It wants to stick to my tweezers, which is fine, but because we want it to stick really well. There we go. And then I can move this just slightly. Perfect. And we'll go. There are two more little drips here, so. Like Nancy's saying, an X-Acto knife would work really well too. And I wanna, there we go, get this right where we want it to be. And then like, you can add it where she put it on the sheet or you can mess around with it a little bit. I think I'm gonna put the bigger drip down at the bottom. I'm gonna kinda kinda stick this like right in the center. And then I'm gonna put the bigger drip down further a little bit. This one right here. That one was a little easier to get off. And then I'm gonna stick it like right, just underneath the big one, just to kind of like elongate it slightly. Perfect. That looks really cool. Okay, so now that we've got that on there, I'm gonna go ahead and get the actual like drips off the top. Nancy's got one that's already cut for me here. 
like she said, just use a little X-Acto knife and you're gonna be able to get that perfect right off of there. And then anything that I need to shave off, I will. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it on there first and then I'm going to file my edges off. And that'll make sure that I'm not like, there we go, perfect. Do you have a file, Nancy? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's one right there in front of me. Oh, I'm such a ding dong. Okay, but just to let you guys know, so like this will ensure that when you're doing this that you're not actually like cutting off anything and you're gonna end up, it's gonna look perfect on the nail as opposed to like you having to like cut around this and that way it's shaped exactly to the nail. This is a trick I watched Nancy do when she did my nails one time with a sticker. Not our stuff, just something else we were messing around looking at. Different things, little ideas. We we're always doing that in the salon. Perfect. Look at that. That turned out really freaking cute. These are like our little extra sticker pieces here. If you want to save those, you can, but I wouldn't do it after you filed it off. There we go. You guys can see I used this little lip here and then the other half of this right here and it ended up looking just like this on the nail. And so what we can do now is we can do matte or we can do shiny on the top of this. I'm just curious what you guys would wanna see. So let me know in chat before I top coat it and we'll do that, whatever you guys want. Thank you, thank you guys so much. Hey, how's it going everybody? Hey Jarissa, how are you sweetie? Good to see you. Okay, Deja said let's do Matt. She was the first one, so. Yeah. Like yeah. Nancy's excited. She was like, yes, please. Just please get the you Matt. Do the Matt. Let's see, because we did the first one. It's shiny. Yeah. Okay. Deja said it's Matt Taco. Yeah, Deja wanted the Matt. First come, first serve, guys. First come, first serve. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and just apply my matte top coat right to the surface of this and I'm making sure to get every little edge, every little nook because we don't want there to be any space or any bubbles. We want to have a really good coat. So right all the way down to the end of that so you guys can see how beautiful this is. And then like I said, as always, please swipe the sides of your nail. The reason you wanna do that is because you just made this really pretty shape and you wanna make sure you maintain that shape and that your gel polish isn't seeping all the way down to the sides like it likes to do and ruin your shape. That's easy. Perfect. That was really quick. So we're gonna put that in the lamp for 60 seconds, guys. That's all it takes to cure either one of our top coats, whether you use the shiny or you use the matte. Both of them look like this. This is our I Hold non-wipe gel top coat, which means that there is no wipe. And our matte top coat, which is also a no wipe top coat as well, okay? So you guys can see both of these we're gonna do. The shiny was on this one with some of our SS3. And then our geometric flame sheet. This is sheet number 35 if you're looking for the flame sheets. And then I did use the silver holographic for the lips. It's our hollow lip sheet here. You guys can see that. My mom is so excited for Halloween. She's like, please do Halloween. Okay, we will. We're going to do some Halloween. I go and see her on Sunday. I know that that's the first thing she's going to want to do is the Halloween nails. It's always nice when your daughter does nails for a living, right, Mom? 
Whoa, that completely changed the look of the holographic sheet, which I did not expect at all. It turned it like a completely silver, like a milky silver, and took the holographic away completely, which is insane. Our matte top coat is really tricky like that. It did this, um, it changes the color of the alcohol inks as well, and that's because it gives it a frosted look. So when it does that, it doesn't really allow too much for the penetration of light, so it is gonna change the way that it looks. And I'm glad that we did that because I am gonna go ahead and put the non-wipe top coat on top of this, just so that we can get that full holographic effect. But at least you guys get to see what the matte top coat is gonna look like on top of that first, okay? So on to the non-wipe gel. And this is gonna bring, look, it brought that holographic back completely. I'm sure if you wanted to, you could just go over certain parts of your design and kind of give it like a multi, like a holographic and a frosted silver look if you wanted to do both. That would be kind of cool. I had no idea that was gonna happen. That was really neat. Cause I know Nancy did it over the top of the others, um, but they were the actual like, the galaxy and the geometric, so they didn't really have this like shine to them. So, I'm really glad that we did that because now we know for future endeavors if we decide that we want to do like a frosted look with the holographic sheets we can have that yes Halloween pumpkins okay we can do that next week maybe I'll use some of our um, neon pigments and we can I can do like a little hand-painted pumpkin for you guys and we can use um, a variety of our neon pigments and then we'll probably also do some Halloween transfer foils for you and then I think Nancy may have some other stuff up her sleeve um, I think last week she used new um, crystals that are our oh here yeah here we go and we have, we have some really cool stuff and then yeah we have the crystal skull as and we well. have little skull look at the oh my god I really love these little skulls with the bows on. Holy cow, Nancy. She's never showed this to me. So it's new for me as well as you. And you can see we do have little spider webs and like chains. That's really spooky. Okay, Nancy. I see you. She got some crazy stuff. Yeah. Here, I'll pull it up closer to the camera so you guys can see it a little better really awesome and here's this one so we'll work on halloween next week for sure and maybe we can do a 3d pumpkin the week after that your claws so we do have a bunch of our really beautiful 4d gel that's something i can definitely practice with and then come up with something to show you the following week because we're going to be doing a lot of halloween up until october so We'll just get ready for that. And then probably, I would say end October before Halloween, we'll probably switch into November because we do like to get stuff out for you guys before the holiday starts and that way you don't have any wait time to get your products and you'll be able to use whatever you need at the time that you need it. So shipping's not an issue. If you do get $150 or more on the website, you do actually get free shipping, so that's something to be aware of. And then don't forget about your Jenny W code because you do get 10% off every single time you use that code. So I'm gonna wipe these nails really quick to make sure I don't have any oils left. And then we're gonna call the video because we're already done. Yay. And if you were doing this, guys, if you were doing this on your clients, so you would have had a really quick, really beautiful design to give them in no amount of time. And then on top of that, you would have made an extra percentage to your ticket. So it's really, really awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed our live video. Like I said, we do post these every single week. And then we do have another little announcement for you guys before we leave. Yay. Nancy's really excited to mention this. She All was right. showing me everything Sweet. earlier. So I'll let her talk about it. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in tonight. And we're gonna have a lot of new products launchings. 
really shortly we just really want to prepare it so then you get the best out of it so here in front of you is our glitz travel box so we're gonna launching it out really soon it's gonna be a subscription for monthly or quarterly as well as is year you know it's annual so you um, stay tuned for that because it's gonna be surprised every single box and it's gonna be a great thing that is you know you can have a hands on it a lot of products in there and save you so much money so you can always work smarter not harder so stay tuned for that and we're gonna announce and we love our box it's just take us so long to get designs for it and then just just bring the best to you and that's we're gonna um, announce that shortly for what is gonna come out from every single box every single month there are gonna be different crystals and different products and elements in there so then when you subscribe for a whole year which is the whole years so that you do you had everything you need that you don't have to worry about is automatically mailed to you then you don't have to worry about what you're gonna pick and we're gonna come up with all the different new newest products so you'll never be high with anyone and um, also are you ready for the 3000 followers giveaway on Instagram Oh, okay. we're a little bit behind on the Facebook is only 26 so if you're not on Facebook and like us on Facebook so please do so because we work so hard to bring it to you so if you don't see us probably because you didn't like or you just like you know or not follow yet so then if you miss some of our videos please go back and um, review it or watch it and also don't forget to like us on Facebook to get new is whatever video we have and what news out there in our industry so this is we're gonna post it later for the post but I want to show us what we're gonna give out for 3k followers which is the true 3k so without every single of you we wouldn't be here mm -hmm. right and Jenny and me and Ho and Ty the team is working so hard to we're bring it very to you. thankful that you guys are yes. always here showing up to our videos even after we post we usually hit up to like somewhere between 10 or 14,000 people looking yep. at our videos. So, so it's so really awesome. awesome. We're very thankful for that. And because of that, we do try to do a giveaway every time we hit a new K. So yeah, new this K. time we hit 3K. So Nancy put this together for you guys so that you'll have a really awesome giveaway. And like she said, is this for Instagram only, Nancy? No, for Facebook and Instagram. Facebook and Instagram. And so hopefully so our both of Facebook them. will catch up with Instagram. Before before Facebook will beat Instagram, but now Instagram will, but it doesn't matter. It's whatever. We'll Either way, Nancy's going to do a giveaway. You can't win on both, but you can enter, enter on, on both. both. Yes. So, so if you like us on Instagram and you like us on Facebook, you can enter Shit. on both of those. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're sharing and you're gonna get all your entries for that. Um, like she said, you cannot win on both, but you do win on one or the other. So if you happen to win on Instagram and Facebook, you're only gonna get one of them. But that doesn't mean that you can't have I'm two sorry. chances. So yes. definitely enter both. So we're going to put it the post up so then you know exactly what you need to do to enter to win. And last time, last, just last month, not too long ago, was just a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. or like three weeks ago, we yeah, had like the winner. Three. So they're yeah. so excited. They're already using it. So hope um, you all can participate and good luck to everyone. So we're going to post it later. So this is 16 different designs of holographics rainbow sheets. So that is everybody has just been looking for it. Cassie, to answer your question, Nailco does carry a variety of our products. So if you go to Nailco in Pensacola, you can find a bunch of stuff there. Um, and then any distributors that are here watching or maybe watching the video later, you can always email us at info at glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com if you're interested in carrying our items or maybe you wanna to talk to your local distributor about our products, you can always have them email us or you can get a hold of us on the phone at 206-771-5086. 
But my recommendation is to email. That's going to be the quickest way to get back to you. And then if you have any questions or anything like that, you can always feel free to DM us or get a hold of us on Instagram or Facebook. Um, and then like Nancy said, we do post all these videos on our YouTube, our Instagram, and our Facebook. So you guys can go back and watch if you missed the beginning or you're just joining and you want to see what we've done for tonight. And then all of our past videos as well. So thank you guys so much. Like I said, make sure you're using that code JennyW on glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com because you will get 10% off. And then stay tuned for all of our really cool things that we're mentioning. Like we try to give you something new every single week. Like Nancy just put the drip lip polo sheet out. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and search lips in our search bar on the website and the collection should come up for you, okay? Thank you guys so much. I had a wonderful evening this Thursday. I will see you guys again tomorrow at around the same time. And I hope that you guys have a busy day tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, guys.